Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome to Let's Play The Blackwell Legacy, which is a retro style, I guess, adventure series. I've heard good things about it, and I always wanted to play it, so it has some issues because it's <laughs> what they die games. They make great uh, adventure games, but um, their whole uh, retro look is um, somewhat of. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. For me, anyway. And uh, there are some black bars, but I can't do anything about that. That's how the game is. There are no options for well, pretty much anything. What are the options? Get nothing. No resolutions, no anything. So let's get into it. Yes, in game instructions, sure. In addition to on screen instructions, you can view the instructions, blah blah blah, no one cares. So, I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure, I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. Wherever you are. Dave Gilbert. Hmm. I have no idea what's going on with the screen. Why does it have four dots in the corner? Wish it would uh, maximize. What a morning. At least I'm home now. Directing with objects. Uh, the direct with objects or characters, move the mouse cursor over them and left click. There is a strange kid standing in front of Rosa's door. Try interacting with him. Okay. Hi there. Um, hi? So who are you visiting today? What are you talking about? Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. All right, Jim. Where's the regular doorman? Geez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? You don't Notices know about posted him. all over the building. I put him up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen him. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. Yeah. I've lived here for five years. <laughs> then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E? Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! I live there! And I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh, hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? True. But I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. How long is this strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple. And we call the cops or something. Or not. I don't know the details. That makes no sense. I have my apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. Well, and let's go and go use it. Yes. And, see if it works. and leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. 
That makes no sense. Okay, I have no ID, and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. <laughs> hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? He could vouch for you. Uh, who? who is this Nis... Uh, Nish... Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. He lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. You could look for her there. I'm pretty sure he could be this, so <laughs> let's not do that. I'll be back. See you around. Activating the inventory bar. Rosa is carrying something. Let's see what it is. This is why you don't have a full screen. You can't overlay that shit on top of the actual screen. That makes no sense. Rosang... Really? Her name is Rosangela. Rose and Angela. It's a weird name. Looking at objects. Yes, thank you. I did that. Miss Blackwell, uh, my name is Dr. Donald Quendin and I was your aunt's primary care physician. Uh, I have seen to your aunt's needs since she arrived here 25 years ago. The fuck? Hmm. Yes, he means in the area, not in the hospital itself. Because if she was in the hospital for 25 years, that's weird. How do we get out of this? Save it. Usually I'm very creative. Uh, should I go there? Yeah, I want it. This looks like a crappy hospital. Looks like an internal phone for paging doctors or patients, I guess. Just a small transistor radio. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Uh-huh. Is he expecting you? I've got this letter right here. Okay. Looks legit. Go right in. His name's on the door. You can't miss it. Thanks. Well, that was easier than I expected. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Yes? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Oh, hello. Rosangela. Come in. What a weird in. name. You got my letter, I trust. Yes, I did. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. Uh. Thanks, but she was my aunt, not my mother. Ah, quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes, yes I did. But before we go into that, how are you holding up? What a weird doctor. He is creeping me out. I'm fine. <laughs> Why? Oh, no reason. Just asking questions. Goes with the job. Right. You received the ashes? Yes. I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel. It's not like I knew her. Or even remember her from before. She's like a stranger. So why did you make it a point of visiting her all those years? Well, I guess... She was the only family I had. I guess I felt an obligation like I had to. 
And now that you don't have to? What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead, life goes on. So you'll just keep living, is that it? Yes. Keep what writing is wrong with this doctor? reviews in the paper, right? You know about those? It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I didn't think a West Village paper would interest anyone up here. I have to be honest, Miss Blackwell. The staff read them because they were more interested in you. Seriously. It's not just me, right? This is creepy. <laughs> uh... That's really creepy, Dr. Quinton. Their intentions were purely benign, uh... <laughs> I assure you. It was your aunt they were primarily interested in. They wanted to know more about her family, and you proved to be, hmm, shall we say, less than eager to comply. That's their problem. Indeed. It was your choice to make. Your aunt was an interesting case. And now that she's gone, I was hoping you'd be more forthcoming with me. Just an informal chat. We can discuss her condition. And yours too, of course. I think I mean, what? You never could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remains a fascinating case. Fascinating? I don't understand. Forgive me. I speak from a purely professional perspective. I didn't know your aunt personally. Neither did I. But fascinating? It might come as a surprise to you, but yes. But she was practically catatonic. All she did was lie there for 20 years. She'd sometimes twitch or mumble something incoherent, but I wouldn't call that fascinating. Well, as you know, she wasn't exactly catatonic. We kept her sedated. Right. She had outbursts. Yes, and... We had to sedate her heavily to keep her calm, especially in preparation for your visits. What are you trying to say? Miss Blackwell, we are not a nursing home. We're not content to merely keep a patient comfortable. We are, after all, in the healing profession. We were trying to heal your aunt, and to do that, we had to speak to her. Wait, you spoke to auntie? We tried to. Did she answer back? After a fashion, yes. If Auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming? Her hitting herself? I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember. In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, we were forced to sedate her. When we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her former state. Her natural state, I'm sorry to add. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense. But one thing was clear. She was in great pain. Pain? What kind of pain? It's difficult to say, but it was immense. How immense? When we reduced her medication, the transformation was dramatic. Her eyes flew open, she thrashed, her screams... Well, we had to gag her eventually. Oh my god. The great now, hospital. Did she still feel it? When she was sedated? We don't know. There's no way of knowing. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. Alright. So far the story is interesting, at least. Wait. What do you mean by my condition? Hereditary dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. And in my opinion, there is significant cause for concern. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> did you say hereditary? Yes. Two generations. Your aunt and your grandmother before her. My grandmother? Yes, Patricia, I think her name was, right? I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was it. There was nobody else. She couldn't exactly provide me with the family history. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Well, maybe you should have. Did anyone else come in to visit her besides me? No, you are correct. I should have read the family history more carefully. I do apologize. I just assumed... Well, never mind. It doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned as well. Go on. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at the age of 40. What are you saying? That the same thing is going to happen to me? No. I'm saying that there is significant cause for concern. That's vague. Can we tell? Can we do a, an MRI or something? So, I had a grandmother. Apparently so. How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same, word for word. Patricia's case was severe, and she was young, 
but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Until... Until it struck her daughter. Until 20 years later, when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. You couldn't find any other link between the two cases? None, aside from the family connection. And uh, a name. A name? What name? The documentation we had on your grandmother is minimal, but there was one interesting item noted. During her more lucid moments, she uttered the name Joey. Your aunt, too, would cry out that name on occasion. Joey? Yes. Who's Joey? We've been wondering the same thing for 25 years. So what should I do? Right now, nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through, no medication I can give you. I just want you to be aware, is all. And come talk to me if, well, there's any concern. Yeah, sure. Come talk to me so I can uh, sedate you and give you 25 years. Catatonic. I'll is do there that. anything else you need to tell me before I go? Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. As the next of kin, you're the beneficiary. It's just a folder, some documents and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. My schedule is fairly open now, so feel free to drop in any time. I'm always happy to discuss my favorite patient. Sure. You are so creepy. Interesting. I guess we'll go to the um, park and try to find this uh, person. Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty, I wonder why. I don't know. Let's save. Cool. All right. I'll end the first uh, episode here and uh, we'll continue in the next one. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I will see you next time with more Blackwell Legacy. Ow. So stop hitting the microphone.